What's happening, traders? Here I am again on Monday, uh, May 20th, with another video. I haven't been trading today, but I've been watching uh, the Discord, and I am a little disturbed about some things that I'm seeing in there. So we all, if you're trading with Apex, we all got this email here, and they want to reiterate that, you know, nothing has changed. Blasey, blasey, blasey. And then we got this massive, massive thing of rules for payouts. I'm just kind of scrolling through this. I'm not looking at the videos. I've already canceled my evaluations. I had a couple 250K evaluations, but after what I've learned today, I'm done with Apex. So they say the trader agrees to follow the company code of conduct to treat all staff, contractors, other traders, and third parties with respect and professionalism. This includes conducting yourself in a positive and professional manner. Basically, how I read this is they don't want you to speak negatively of them. I'm not going to even touch on how ignorant the customer service people are there. Um, I made a video about that before. Uh, you can't share your IP address. Hedging is not allowed, of course. News trading is prohibited. Of course, I just want to point out all of this stuff is not prohibited on your evals, just on the funded side. 20% flipping. I don't even understand. All right, so we have a 30% kiss to see rule. So basically, Apex is protecting themselves from windfall traders with a 30% consistency rule, which is completely reasonable. You know, they're saying your your um, total daily win cannot be more than 30% of your max total. I understand that, you know, they don't want people trading and just do windfall. They want tr actual They not, Well, first of all, I'm going to go back. I don't think they want actual traders. This is their a, a way to not pay anybody for a windfall win. I don't, I think, you know, the business model of a prop firm is to profit from failed traders, not profitable traders. They, they don't want profitable traders. So what we're seeing are all these new rules designed to, I guess, you know, prevent people that are profitable from getting payout. So con contract size consistency, you know, this annoys me, this thing here. Like if you took a test and you passed your test and you have, you know, their big gimmick is that you have full clip available, no scaling, right? Why can't you take advantage of that? They might as well just have a scaling account if they want consistency. You know, I might trade smaller on certain days and larger on certain days based on market conditions. They're not really letting you trade your plan here. Uh, DCA issues, don't like that. Dollar cost averaging, scaling into trades, uh, prohibited. No stop, stop loss or exit plans in place. Now they're put a, uh, a video out saying that they're okay with the mental stops, but I'm gonna call bullshit on that. They are asking people in their terms here to provide their trading plans, uh, recordings of their trades in order to justify payouts. There are several people in the Discord right now who are not getting paid. One person was approved on May 4th never paid and now all those um, requests are back in pending status. That is ridiculous. Another Discord member and his son uh, both trade and both have Apex accounts and Apex blocked both of them and then demanded, please provide video recordings of your trading session over the next three days, meaning that the next three days that you were trading these accounts showing your trades, the person executing the trades, and the narration of the trade entries, entry rules, initial stops, profit targets, trailing and management of the trades from the legal listed owner of the account. So this is ridiculous in itself, but this tells me when they're gonna ask you about your trading plan um, to justify your payout, this is what they're gonna wanna know. They're gonna wanna know your entry rules, your initial stops, your profit targets, your trailing man management of the trades from um, all in a plan. So I highly recommend if you continue trading with this company, 
that you have a trading a written trading plan that aligns to what you're doing so that when you have an issue you can uh have it handy and ready to send. I'd also recommend maybe downloading OBS and recording your trading. I guess they're going to require trade traders to record their trading. You know, I just think Apex came out and they were going to be like, this is the company by traders, you know, for traders. They don't seem to be for traders anymore. I don't like some of this shit that's going on here. So I've personally canceled my evaluations. I'm not interested in continuing with that. Yes, the 250k evals are cheap, but I think they're cheap for a reason right now. And who wants to invest time into an account where you probably aren't going to get paid? That's ridiculous. So anyway, I'll keep you updated. I know of at least three people right now who have been pending approval for over like $25,000 in requested payouts. And it's been over two weeks and they haven't been paid. One person's been approved and not paid. The other people are not approved yet. And then, like I said, we have this one person who has was approved on May 4th, and it's been 16 days. They haven't been paid, and now when they go in their account, it all says uh, pending. So they're demanding Zoom calls, <laughs> video Zoom calls for you to explain yourself. They also, you know, want you to record yourself. I'm, I can't even with this. This is ridiculous. The other company I want to talk about is this one. I'm new. I never even heard of these guys, but someone in the Discord posted that they have recently changed their uh, requirements. So originally on a 50k account, there was a $2,600 payout threshold and a 2,000 max withdrawal limit. Now the threshold is 3550 and the withdrawal limit is 1500. So they increased their threshold by like 70, 37% and decreased their payouts by 25%. So this company is shady. It's called Precision Funding. I don't recommend those guys. I am still working on the My Funded Futures. I haven't actually finished the eval to even get to the payout point portion. I do know that they're very picky on scalping. They want swing traders, so I'm interested to see... I don't know if you're in a, if you have an account with my funded futures, you definitely, and you scalp, you definitely want to reach out to them and clarify what their rules are. Uh, I know that they've asked people to leave. I've heard of a couple people who are, you know, micro scalping that have been asked to leave when they get to pay out. So that is another one you want to uh, watch out for. I got an email from Elite today offering me like an 80 or 90% off discount code telling me they appreciate me. I have an appreciation sale going on from May 20th to 27th. I have no interest in working with them anymore after the shenanigans that they did. I don't know, guys. It's getting tough out here with these prop firms. This is why, you know, you really have to have a personal account. You can't be just relying on this. The prop companies should be, you know, a tool to multiply your own account progress you know hopefully it is a positive progress and you're profiting but that's what it should be for adding 20 accounts and duplicating your own you know so you're making 200 bucks a day in your personal account duplicating that like by 20 accounts and now that you can uh trade multiple uh, cgc accounts with one rhythmic in in ninja trader i mean you could potentially trade your personal account one rhythmic and then you know uh, as many CGC counts as you can possibly handle. I don't recommend using a trade copier, especially with that many accounts, but I don't know. I'm kind of moving away from prop firms at this moment. And uh, I'm going to put up some updates on, you know, as I get, as I get this information, I'm going to put it out there. I just want to make sure everybody knows there are issues getting paid from Apex right now. So please, you know, Bear that in mind. Don't invest a lot of money into them until you're assured, you know, do one account at a time. Make sure you're going to get paid, especially if they're not paying people. It shouldn't take 16 to 18 days to get paid. That's ridiculous. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. I will catch you in the next.